Greetings out there in YouTube land. This is Morris Man. As always, I thank you guys for coming to my channel. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to entitle this, but I've been recently getting a surge of I'm going to do it myself players. And I try my best because I'm here to help you guys. You know, you guys now have an advantage that we didn't have back in the 60s, 70s, you know. The internet where people will freely give you information that'll help advance your plan and still you spend months doing this and you realize, man, I should have been doing this, should have been doing this. You know, utilize that as opposed to I'm going to try to do this myself because I think I can do this. And there's nothing better than getting help and getting put in the right direction. Like I said, uh, back in the 70s and 80s, we had to stumble and fumble because there was nobody to kind of give us this information. And we take it to heart and apply it, you know. But again, you got a lot of these people that want to do it themselves, either too cheap to pay somebody or not really serious. This takes a long time to get good at it. This is not going to be a three month program like six months or six pack abs in the month nonsense. You know, it's going to take a while. And if you're up to the challenge of sticking it out for years and years and years, you're going to be OK. But if you think you're going to come here and, and nail how to play an instrument in six months, don't waste your time. Take that six months to do some constructive, you know, productive because uh, you're not going to be a player in six months. Then you got people that still want to up. I, I, I learned self-taught and I'm doing okay by your standards. You know, you and only you, your standards. Who rated you? You. And you're the one who taught you. So it's like, that's, that kind of doesn't make any sense to me, man. As opposed to a group of people listen to you playing, that are players say, okay, well, you got you got some here, young man. And uh, just keep working on this. Don't put too much emphasis on this and you'll be okay. You know, but again, I'm beginning to get a rash of these new age players that, you know, want to teach themselves. And let me say this before I get into this video, because this might be a little long video, about 20 minutes, maybe. If you want to learn how to play this, go get formal lessons, because you know what you have to do? You got to learn all the notes on this neck. You got to be able to read the notes on, on the staff. You know, you, sh you you will get to a point where you can start to hear some notes without looking for the notes or reading the notes. Like, okay, because 100% of my bass covers, and I can read, I, I can read tablatures and sheet music or sheet music. Uh, I know what key I'm in. Uh, I know the name of all the strings. I know all the notes on the bass. So I don't really need to pull up the sheet music because I got a good ear, you know, unless it's extremely complex based stuff. And even then I can hear it so I can play it. I've never had to read sheet music for bass because my ear is that good. I can pick it up real quick. I'm like, I can hear it quicker than I can read it, you know. So I can do it. But since my ear has become pretty so good, I don't need to do that. 100 percent of my covers just done by ear. You know, I don't have to go look for the sheet music. Not like when I play guitar, because when I play guitar, it's almost the opposite. Uh, if I got the sheet music, I, I can, I'll play it. Even when I don't have the sheet music, I can usually kind of figure it out. I mean, there are some artists that you ain't going to figure out 100% of their stuff just by ear. Stevie Wonder, Earth, Wind & Fire, Anita Baker, Luther Vandross. Uh, you know, the list goes on. And uh, the list goes on. So if you're serious about this, go take formal lessons. Don't sit on the internet looking at notes or I me mean, looking at fingers. I can't see your fingers, the camera angle, and hollering about tabs. I don't do tabs. I don't really, to be honest, I don't totally know what that means because I was formally trained, you know, so I don't rely on somebody telling me where I should put my fingers up and down the neck. I know where I should put my fingers because I'm either reading sheet music or I can hear it, you know. So please, young people and some old people, abandon that because that's a poor, tabs is a poor man's cheat sheet. You know, and it's going to show in your plan that you are just watching somebody the tabulation as far as where your fingers should be. You don't know what note this is that you got your finger on. You don't know what key you're playing in. You need all that stuff. There's no way you're going to get around that unless you're going to continue to be a half-baked musician, you know. And musicians that have been trained formally, they don't want to deal with you. They don't want to be messing with their time or you can't figure out where you're supposed to be. 
you know. So you either get in line or you fall behind, you know. And there's some people that don't understand that, you know, because they say, I want, to, I want to learn, and they don't know where to go. And it's real simple. If you don't know, go find somebody that can teach you. That's just that simple. You know, it's just that simple. Ain't nothing else complicated about that. You can play. Go get somebody that can play and teach you. End of story. Movie over. You know, it's still it is trading finger placements and that tab nonsense because it's nonsense. You know, and I'm a, I try my best to, again, put you guys on the straight as opposed to uh, you just trying to create a whole nother language. The language of music has been doing well for centuries. It's the only form of communication in the entire world that is one language. One language. If I'm playing sheet music here in the United States and I jump on the plane to go to Japan and I'm jamming with these guys and we got the sheet music, we all know that language. You know, it's still, uh, I'm from America, I'm from Mexico, I'm from Russia. We're talking three different languages, you know, so it's, it becomes a mess. You know, but music is the only form of communication that only has one language. And it's not a difficult language to learn if you're willing to put the time in. You have to put the time in. You are not going to pick up a guitar today and in three months playing very well. It's going to take you maybe three years to get decent. And I'm talking first band decent. And that's just decent. Not good, not great, not awesome, but decent. Three years. So if you're not in it for the long haul, find another hobby. Maybe gaming is your thing, you know. But uh, I'm going to read this because this is what spawned these, this video. That I got to put people in this direction. It's like, you ain't getting around this dude. There's no magic bullet that anybody can give you a pill or whatever. And you be playing like a pro in three months. Or a year. Or a year and a half. Or two years. You know? I had a friend. And I'm going to say this quickly because it fits in. Then I'm going to go to the story. Or comment. I, I got a friend. Dear good friend. We went to. Did we, we played. We've done a lot of stuff together. I met him in high school. Yeah, I met him in high school. And uh, he's a first degree black belt. He teaches. And many years ago, I was thinking about, man, I, I want to do this. And I asked him about it. He said, let me stop you right there before I even got into it. Because he, he answered this, this question all the time with this answer. If you cannot devote 10 years to this, don't waste your time. I'm like, thank you. And it's not like I didn't want to. I just didn't have the 10 years. I'm like, well, that's not first on my list. You know, music is my push, my love and my passion. But, uh, you know, being a uh, Claude, uh, Jan, Jan, being a Bruce Lee or, you know, or these martial art guys, I'm like, that's not top of my list. And that's just a lot of time to, to devote to this, you know. So I'm glad he told me that because I did know. And I know a lot of you guys on this channel, the come to my channel, don't know either. But I'm trying to let you know and put you in the right direction. If you're serious about this, you got to put in some years. I'm talking years, you know, not this watching tabs thing and you think you're going to be a great player at the, at the end of the year, you know, that's very unrealistic and it's almost impossible. So I got two comments today that are in this same neighborhood, so to speak. And I addressed it, you know, I, I left a comment for these people because I'm trying to help you. I'm not trying to discourage you. I'm not trying to tear you down. I'm just trying to give you the facts of what you need to do and what you decide is up to you once you get this information. Are you going to take it seriously and say, well, you know what? Yeah, I better go get a teacher and I better pay the guy. Instead, oh, I'm going to still do it my, myself. I ain't paying nobody. And I'm going to be good at the end of the year, you know? So the first one start off like this. I had somebody that wants to purchase the Icy Brothers uh, song lessons. And he said, uh, I'm new to guitar. Here we go. I can only read tabs. Here we go. I don't know music theory, sharps, flats, suspend, and all that stuff like you pros do. Well, you need to learn. <laughs> that's just, that's it. You need to learn. You are not going to be playing the Isley Brothers stuff and understanding what they're doing if you don't learn. These guys are professionals. They know theory. They, they're great. They're, they're exceptional musicians. And you think you're going to play your stuff not knowing nothing? Good luck with that, you know. And uh, same thing with um, the parliament. You know, you look at Boosie's persona, you know, 
big glasses and uh, dudes coming up on stage playing in diapers and all that. You think they some crazy dudes and just strung out high dudes. And some of them were strung out high dudes, but those guys knew theory. They learned. Someone taught them. They sit in the classroom or come over to somebody's house on Sundays and they sit down for 30 minutes to an hour and they teach them the concept and the language of music. You know, uh, Munchies for Your Love. I remember when I first started to learn that song and I'm listening to the specific chord and I'm saying to myself, I determined what it was. I think it was an E major seven. I said, but he's not playing it in the, in the positions or the voices that I know. And voices for you guys that don't know that is you got one chord. Let's say for instance, one chord, A major chord. You could play that chord in different positions throughout the neck, not just up here or not here in the middle. So I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm like, he's not up here open chords like, you know, country and western guys. He's definitely not down somewhere in the later of the neck like R&B guys. So where is he at? And I kind of figured it out. And and now, you know, we're lucky now. It's the best time to learn any instrument because you can go on the Internet and Google these chords. Because you don't remember all of these chords, especially chords you've never played. And they will give you inversions. Okay, you can play here. 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 So I'm auditioning these chords. I'm like, he's playing it right here. You know, I would have never thought to play an A major chord or a major chord in this position. Never. And you know why he did it? Because of theory. You know, he figured out through theory what is the best voicing for this song and this chord and this song. You know, you're not going to figure that out by your ear. You know, you learn that stuff through theory and saying, OK, if I apply theory to this, I figure it out. As opposed to I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm at, I'm just trying to figure it out, trying to figure it out. You know, and I think it was. Hollywood Squares at the beginning, it was a classical piece. Boosie wrote that. I mean, if you listen to the, the beginning of that, that's straight up classical. That's not R&B. That's not funk. It's not pop, you know. And he was able to do that because he knows what he's doing, you know. Because this tab stuff, you don't know what you're doing. You're just putting a finger here where someone told you, put a finger here. Why? Just put a finger there. What note is it? I don't know. Just put a finger there. What string is I don't know. Just put your finger there, you know. You don't want to go that route. I'm telling you, you don't want to go that route. But there's some people that don't know other, no other route because they either will not go a little further to learn what they need to learn or they're being cheap and don't pay nobody. I can do this by myself. Just wash these dudes' fingers. The same dudes that took formal lessons 10, 20, 30 years ago and are playing professional, you know, and you think you're going to play like that by just simply watching their fingers. They couldn't play like that simply by watching some other dude's fingers, you know. So, I mean, I can't stress this more and I'm going to keep doing these types of videos because I'm hoping everybody that comes to my channel will watch these videos. The beginners that don't know what they know and don't don't know where they need to be. And I'm trying to tell you where you need to be and where you at right now is not right now is not where you need to be or should be. You know, just dabbling and looking at fingers and complaining about fing or camera angles and stuff. You got the course run across the screen or the notes. Either you could do it or you can't. And if you can't, go get formal lessons. If you can, you are good. Because that's the purpose of my channel, to give the musicians, guys and women that can already play, know a little something, you know, they're not amateurs, and just give them the chords. That's it. I'm not trying to teach you how to play your guitar in the course of a song, you know. Oh, uh, could you tell me where your fingers at right now? If you took in formal lessons, you know where my fingers are at. And you're like, okay, uh, he's playing the A major chord, uh. He's up in the high register, so he's playing the first uh, uh, first position, you know, or he's somewhere in the middle, so he's playing it on the root of a different string other than the a E string. Now, what I just said is probably foreign to a lot of you people that are trying to teach yourself, you know, but, uh, you know, just as far as this, and I, and I told the gentleman, I said, uh, based on your comment, my friend, you're not ready for this. You got to learn your instrument first. Then you play songs, because now... Everybody's doing it backwards. I want to play these songs. You know how to play your instrument? Your instrument? What do you mean? Uh, what, play me an A major chord right now. Oh, uh, I don't know how to do that. What's the name of these strings? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, you need to get formal lessons. I mean, I'm passionate about putting you guys in the right direction because I'm getting a lot of comments like this where people don't know where they're at or 
they don't know this stuff, but they think they can still do this kind of stuff or this stuff. You can. You got to equip yourself with the necessary tools to get the job done. And you're not going to get the job done if you don't have the tools, you know. So that's the first one. Then, 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 then the second one. Let me pull this up. Okay, where are you? Okay. Am I here? Let me pull this up. Okay, forgive me for the delay here. I'm trying to move this right along. Okay, it's not that one. Okay. Staples things. The base cover or lesson five take you there. That's one of the first songs that I learned how to play on bass when I was in living at home. When I was a kid. We used to play in my friend's garage. Actually in his basement. And his brother that I went to high school with just passed away about a year ago. One of my closest friends. A shout out to Mr. James Hilliard. Rest in peace, my brother. Okay, so there's two different types of videos I do. I do guitar lessons, slash guitar lessons, bass lessons, or play along. When I'm playing along, that's all I'm doing. And the reason why sometimes it's just a play along and I'm not providing chords or notes is because either it's so technical that I can't put that on the screen. That's something that I have to sit and show you. So therefore, I just leave it as a play along. And then the lessons are either I got the chords run across the screen or the bass notes. And in all of the videos that I do like that, the lessons, I have all the chords in the video. When I first started, I used to put a question mark on the chord, but now, you know, I give you guys the chord or the finger diagram to say, okay, this is where you put your fingers. I don't know the name of this chord, but this is what you do. So uh, I got a comment from a gentleman from uh, the Staple Singles tab of guitar chords, bass notes. That was really sweet playing. Awesome. Thank you. The notes you are showing, the notes that you're showing us as you play. Is it possible to share the tab for the riff only? And then he showed me the notes that I had in the video. I'm a beginner. Here we go. Learn that instrument. Those notes before you start trying to play songs. I'm a beginner and not fast enough to capture the strings and the notes we, you play. And uh, my first response was, because I was kind of confused what he was asking for. I said, I have no idea what this means or what you're trying to say. All the notes are in the video. And then uh, his response was, I'm speaking of tablatures instead of notes. And then I said, pros don't do tabs. That's a poor man's cheat sheet. Never take shortcuts. It was showing your plan. Formal lessons are your sure route to take. You know, and, and it is, you know, if you're a beginner, forget trying to learn songs right now. And go somewhere where somebody can teach you how to play your instrument first. You need to learn all the notes on the neck of the guitar or the bass. So when you're looking at tablature or notes, you know what note. You know, it's like, okay. Now what sometimes, because they've come a long way with shape music. Because uh, I remember in the 70s when I learned how to play guitar, all of the chords were in open position. In the sheet music. Now the problem with that is, especially when you become a, a real musician or advanced, you you totally understand uh, this was messed up. Unless you're not trained to play along with the record, and most of us need to do that when we first start to, to get a sense of accuracy. As far as uh, he's playing the G note here on this string instead of the G note here, I can hear the difference. But when they, I remember when I first started learning how to play the play the guitar. It was in open position. And unless it's accurate as far as the country and western song, which a lot of these songs are in open position, you're trying to play along with the record. It's like, this don't sound nothing like the record. You know, nothing. That's because the voicings are in a different voicing. So it's going to sound different and crappy. You know, because I'm like, the sweet part of, to me, and this is just my opinion of the neck, either the bass or the guitar. It's somewhere in the middle, not way up here, not way down here. It's somewhere in the middle. That's my sweet spot. You know, that's where I, I like to play and the notes that they play in there sounds good. You know, because they're not too high, they're not too low. You know, or not too low, not too high. You know, so 
they've come a long way with sheet music because now they give you diagrams on the sheet music as far as the actual voicing for the guitar. I'm like, that's great. And still, I got to now figure out what voicing because you've given me the chords, thank you, but you didn't give me the voicing. So therefore, I can't play along with the record and enjoy playing along with the record. You know, because when you're a kid and learn, it's like, I'm in the band, you know, you right there in the mix with the musicians on the record, as opposed to you playing way up here, or way down here, and they playing somewhere in the middle and it don't sound right. You're not locking. You don't feel good playing because you're not locking. You know, so uh, sheet music has come a long way, you know, because again, I remember those days in the 70s. It was like, and then I figured it out. I'm like, they ain't playing up here. You know, I'm playing a confunction song. They ain't playing open chord positions. Playing a Rick James song. They're not playing open chord folks chords. You can tell the, the, the difference, you know. But uh, I'm going to sign off now, but I'm going to do a lot of these videos, obviously. You know, and I'm going to keep just stressing this. Go get formal lessons. Leave that tab nonsense alone. You know, that energy and time that you spend on learning that, learn it the right way. Because that's not the right way. You know, that's not the right way, but uh, somebody didn't grab this and just took off with it and everybody running with it. And it's like, see, this is the reason why you need lessons, because if you start taking lessons, you realize you, you shouldn't be messing with that tab mess because it's a mess. You know, leave the mess alone, you know, and you need someone to tell you leave that mess alone because this is the mess. You know, work over here where everybody else that's learning this language is learning from. As opposed to you over here, now you want to venture over here with these guys that can play and, and write and know theory, and they don't want to be bothered with you because you have no idea what you're doing, and they don't have time to try to teach you your instrument and show you what chord you should be playing. That's not fair to those guys, you know? You're going to get excommunicated, and you deserve to be excommunicated because you shouldn't be over there with this. You know, come over here, learn this, and stay over here. It's still uh, some dude on YouTube told me to, you know, put fingers here, put fingers there. Now, when you go play with the big boys, they're like, what are you doing, man? We ain't got time for this, you know? We ain't got time for you going back over there with the mother group of people that don't know what they're doing either, you know, because they were either too lazy to, to push forward and do it the right way or pay somebody, you know, pay somebody. And that shows the kind of your character, too, when you're the kind of person where, okay, I'm going to pay you for your time because I know your time is valuable. I'm a grown man. I'm not going to show up and ask another grown man for something that he, I'm not willing to pay for, you know. And I, I get a lot of that, too. You know, I had one guy wanted me to uh, endorse his channel. And I'm like, first of all, and this is a good observation from a viewer, he said, yeah, that wouldn't be a good idea, Morris, man, unless you really know his channel and what kind of context or content that he's posting up. You know, that's a reflection on you if you send your viewers over here and this is some jacked up garbage. I said, you know what, man? I didn't even think about that. But you're right. And I'm like, uh, what I should have said to him, because I asked him, I'm like, okay, I I'll help you, but you're going to have to pay me $25 for my time because that's going to take two hours of my day, which is what usually my other subscribers pay me when I do learn, when I teach them these lessons, you know? And he never responded because he didn't want to pay for the advancement of his own channel. I'm like, I didn't come to you. You came to me. You know, and my... And that was my response, because as, as I think I should have said, you know what? You're a grown man, and how we built our channels, we built our channels. We didn't rely on begging other people, and could you post a video on my behalf? None of that. You know, because I've done that for people that, first of all, I like. You know, uh, shout out to uh, Tracy Rich. I've done a couple of, uh, you know, then check Chase, Tracy Rich's channel. He's a great guitar player, great rhythm player. You know, I did it for him on several occasions because, first of all, I like T Tracy. He's a good guy. Second, he's a good musician. You know, I'm like, I don't mind passing on, you know, information to help this guy and these other guys. But when you come begging and then don't want to help your channel by donating to my channel for me to do this, go on about your business, man. Because that let me know you're a selfish individual. And I do not do business with people like that. I don't. I don't like people like that. It's just about them. But when it comes to helping you, they screw you. You know, like with my car, I had three dear friends that are no longer my three dear friends. Asked them to do something for me because I couldn't. I do it. They never showed up. Two of them never showed up. The other one, I'm so busy. I'm like, you know what? Stay busy. When you call me looking for help from me, stay busy. You know, I'm a different person than I was last year because I, it, I was forced to understand and believe that there's some people they only think about themselves. Even though you helped on a daily, on a weekly or monthly, yearly basis, it's just about them. When it's time for them to help you, 
they ain't got time, they too busy, they, they pull a ghost move on you. I'm like, and, and my dear friend Joe, rest in peace, he, he told me, and we had that kind of relationship. He said, I love you like a son. I'm like, I love you like a dad. But I got to tell you this, you're too nice to people. Sometimes you got to tell people F them, you know, you do. Because they only have their best interests at heart. And when it comes to helping you, you're going to realize and get a rude awakening that it was always all the time about them and not about us. People helping each other. It's just about them. You know, they constantly receiving help. But then when it's time to help, help, they know where to be found. They're too busy. Well, I forgot. I'm just going to blow you off. I'm not even going to show up. I'm not even going to have to take the courtesy to call you and say, man, I ain't going to be able to do this today. No, is it possible to get this done tomorrow? They just said, screw you. You know, you don't hear from them no more. I'm like, okay. Close the door, lock it. Don't let them people ever back in your life. But uh, f sorry for this long. But I had to, you know, say what I had to say and say as much as I had to say. Because I can't stress this no more. Go, teach, go get somebody to teach you how to play this. Start it there first. Don't start trying to learn songs. You know, because once you get equipped with learning this instrument... Knowing the notes and all that stuff, you can play thousands of songs. My vid my channel was a testament to that. I thought off the top of my head I can only play 50 songs because that's usually what we play in our set. I kept playing and playing. I'm like, I can play this, I can play this, I can play this, I can play this. And I can play all of those and attribute that to my music teacher because he taught me, he got me equipped and got me ready and prepared to do this, the play songs, because that's secondary. First is Learn your instrument. Learn all the notes on your instrument. Learn some theory. Now, I'm not saying to be the best theory guy in the world or the best reader, sheet reader. But you got to know that stuff. You're not going to get around that playing some Isley Brothers stuff, you know. You got to know that stuff to play these guys' stuff, you know. So, again, I strongly urge you guys, at this time, stop wasting your time on trying to learn songs. Learn this first. Once you learn this, then you, you, go, you off to the races. And still, a, I can't tell you what notes these are. I can't find, you know, an A note on all four of these strings, you know. But yet, I think I'm going to play professional musician stuff. I'm passionate about this. I want you guys to learn and learn the right way. And still, of this newfound method that's garbage. Because tabs are garbage. Leave garbage in the garbage can. And I'm going to leave you with that. Till next time, take care and thanks for watching.